All right, so today we're gonna to work on the mid chapter 11 checkpoint. So please tear out page 481 and 482, which I've already had it. Um, and you are gonna need your map notes to identify the shapes. So the notes we've taken this week um, are primarily the notes that you're going to need um, and any of the charts that we went over. A closed plane figure with all sides congruent and all angles congruent is called A. And um, our options are congruent, which means same. And in our notes, So we know um, from our notes, just to use those three words, a polyhedron is a solid figure with faces that are polygons. A polygon is a closed plane shaped figure. And congruent, all sides are congruent, meaning the same. Right. So, um, a closed plane figure. So it's a plane figure. So I know that means it's a regular polygon. Forgot regular polygon. Right here, regular. All sides are congruent. Um, line segments that have same length or angles that have the same measure are congruent. So same or same is congruent. Um, for each polygon, name whether it's a regular polygon or not a regular polygon. This one tick mark on each side means they're all the same. One tick mark for the angles means they are all the same. So this is a regular polygon. And just for extras, let's see which polygon it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. So a six-sided polygon is called a hexagon. Um, this only has one, two sides that are the same. This side is not the same. And this angle doesn't match these angles. So this is not a regular polygon. Um, but I could name that triangle because it has two congruent sides. Opposite sides are congruent and opposite angles are congruent. So if I use my um, naming chart, I know that this is isosceles triangle. And we can't say whether it's acute, right, or obtuse. Um, because they don't give us the measurement of these, although I could kind of look at it and know they are all acute, but usually they'll give us a measurement for the triangle. Um, let's look at this figure. This has all the sides are congruent, but all the angles are congruent. All the angles are not congruent because these angles match, these two angles match, but they're different from those. So this is not a regular polygon. And if I were to name this shape, one, two, three, four, five, this would be a pentagon. Um, identify each triangle. So all the sides are the same, all of the angles are the same. So this isn't, oh, they do tell you that it's less. Um, so this is actually an acute equilateral. My note's equilateral because all the sides are the same and equilateral triangles um, all the angles are the same length, which means they're all 60 degrees, which is less than 90. Um, this little mark tells me it's a right angle. And I only have two sides that are 
equal and I have opposite angles equal, which means it's isosceles. Um, I have an angle that's greater than 90, so I know right away that's obtuse. And I have two angles that are equal to each other, and I have two sides that are equal, so that is also isosceles. Um, classify the quadrilaterals. So, one, two, three, four. All of these have four sides. So automatically, I'm just gonna write quadrilateral on all of them because they all are gonna get the name quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. Four-sided shapes are all quadrilateral. Now, parallelogram. Parallelogram means that there has at least Opposite sides are parallel. Opposite sides are congruent. Well, this one only has one pair of parallel lines because these two lines aren't parallel. So with only one pair of parallel lines, this one isn't a parallelogram. This is a trapezoid. Um, so this one's done. Once you get trapezoid and quadrilateral, those are the only names you're getting. Um, both of these shapes, well, they're parallelograms because opposite sides are both parallel. So they both get the parallelogram name. Parallelogram. Um, a rectangle is four right angles, four right angles, and um, two pairs of perpendicular lines. Perpendicular means they make intersection points, so both of these are rectangles. Um, a rhombus, so this polygon is going to stop right here, right? Because it has opposite sides are, um, two sides are the same length. It has the perpendicular lines, right angles, parallel. So we're done with number 10. Now 11 is our square, right? Four congruent sides. Four congruent sides means it's a rhombus. And we know from our lesson that if a square is always a rectangle and a rhombus. So number 11 gets all the names except trapezoid. And number nine is just our trapezoid quadrilateral. 10 is quadrilateral parallelogram rectangle. And 11 is quadrilateral parallelogram rectangle rhombus square. Number 12, what type of triangle do you see? Well, this is right. It's a right angle and it has two congruent sides or one pair of congruent sides or two sides that are equal which are shown by the tick line so that's isosceles classify this quadrilateral in all its ways well it has right angles which tells me that it has perpendicular shapes so this is our square right it has four congruent sides so it's a rectangle it has four right angles, which is the justification for a rectangle. It has two pairs of perpendicular lines. Um, this line is parallel with this line. This line is parallel with this line. It has four sides. So it gets all of our names. It's a quadrilateral. It's a parallelogram. It's a rectangle. It's a rhombus because it has four congruent sides and it's a square because it's a rectangle and a rhombus. Um, classify this solid shape. 
So we know it's a polyhedron, right? So what kind of polyhedron is this? It has a square, a rectangle face and rectangles on the sides and the bases. So this is a rectangular prism. All right, so this is our chapter, mid-chapter checkpoint. It is only on classifying shapes. So please have your notes out, have your charts available so that you can use your notes as a resource. All right, good luck, fifth grade.